On June 10 and 11, Hypecon was held in Finland, Hyvinkää. Now, Hypecon is a free convention, and maybe as a virtue of it being a free convention, it is also the convention with the highest number of participants in Finland. Now, this worried me slightly, because I've been to free conventions in uh, Finland before. I've been to Kibakon, and it was sort of hellish, because there were so many people. It was really difficult to move, it was really difficult to see anything, uh, let alone film uh, stuff. So I was really worried that this experience was gonna be really similar, but it wasn't. It wasn't like that at all. Now, we might attribute some of that to the fact that we had amazing weather over the weekend. So a lot of the people could be outside and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather outside and eat outside. And there were also a lot of the activities that were part of the convention were planned as being outside. So I'm really glad that we had amazing weather. But also, aside from that, the convention was held in several separate buildings. There was almost like a convention complex with several separate buildings and like that people could hang out in uh, several different areas and they weren't packed and there was actually a lot of space it didn't feel like there were too many people it didn't feel too cramped now me and my friend we started out uh, as you do in the sales area actually one of the first things in the program that interests me was was the amv competition that you needed separate place tickets for that were free but you still needed tickets for however However, we didn't make there early enough to see the AMV competition, so we just started at the sales area. Now they had basically filled up an entire separate building with a sales area. My workplace was there as well, they had their Finnish convention debut, so I got to talk to my colleagues a bit as well. And in this sales area, they had put all the large vendors that have their own like physical shops or online shops that are big companies, as well as all the little artists and uh, more famous artists all the artist alley vendors that might usually be in a separate area where they were in the same hall as well as well as flea market people people who were selling their own stuff second hand who wanted to get rid of their own stuff that they no longer needed and maybe someone else wanted so they had put everything related to selling sort of anime merch and japanese pop culture stuff in that one hall Pretty much all, almost all of it, because there was a separate market as well, which I'm gonna be talking about later on the second day. But yeah, we took some time to look around and I did buy some stuff, which I'm gonna show you now, all of the stuff that I got from there. So here's all the stuff I bought. I got this untamed themed postcard, which is really pretty. I really like to even, uh, basically it works no matter which way you turn it. I think is really cool. And on the back there's like space for postcard things. So you can actually send it. And then I got this CLN sticker which I think is pretty genius with the this is fine meme which I think works for him perfectly. And then I also got a bracelet from Talking To Myself, which is kind of a Lolita or Kai brand, but they were at the main sales area. So this is like a little marshmallow bracelet, which I really liked. I actually wanted to get it uh, at the last convention, at Tampere Kupli, when I was there, and they also had it there. But I didn't have time to get it later, and now I got it, and I'm really happy about getting it. So yeah, we did some shopping, but aside from shopping, there were also panels and lectures you could listen to. And we went to listen to this one lecture about how mythology and folklore have inspired a lot of uh, modern manga and comics and are the basis and inspiration for that, as well as an inspiration for a lot of modern brands in general. It was really interesting. We also tried to listen to some stand-up later in the evening, but it was Final Fantasy themed and I don't really know anything about Final Fantasy. So even though that I speak Finnish, I was just kind of completely lost there. So we stayed there for a bit and uh, then we left. They also had a whole separate area for like arcade games that was quite empty. I don't know if people weren't aware of it. It was near the area where you could listen to lectures. You went through there to get to the lecture area. And uh, there was plenty of space to play games and uh, hang out and just rest as well. 
And there was also a tabletop area where you could play Warhammer and magic and these kinds of stuff. So on the first day we also visited a maid cafe. We, we were served by a lovely butler and uh, we had a lovely time. We got to eat some. Uh, we actually ate quite a lot. I had ice cream and <laughs> sausages. And then I also ate at the maid cafe. This nice uh, tomato tofu pie this was actually my first time being at a maid cafe so it was it was a really pleasant experience because usually maid cafes are really packed at conventions uh, it's hard to get a table but this time we thankfully did get a table so i'm really happy about that we also visited a cosplay competition you also needed place tickets for that which were also free but we got there in time to get the tickets so that worked out perfectly the cosplay competition was actually quite short there were less than 20 participants there were two categories the junior category for people who hadn't been cosplaying for that long and the senior category for people who weren't necessarily old but who had already cosplayed a lot and had a lot of cosplay experience i really like and i think it's very interesting that there is this trend of cosplaying real people more nowadays one person cosplayed mana the Japanese Lolita fashion designer and musician. So yeah, it wasn't horribly long. It was it was pretty short. It was like maybe half an hour. Um, and I actually wonder if they had like a pre-selection for these cosplay participants because they were very all very high quality. I also really wanted a photo of the woman who was cosplaying as Barbie from the Barbie Swan Lake movie, but sadly I couldn't find her later. I saw her once around the outside area, but then she was eating and I didn't want to bother her. So sadly, I couldn't get a picture with her uh, up close, but uh, all the cosplayers were really amazing. So on the second day, uh, there was actually a lot of stuff that interests me. The Finnish Lolita convention, Hellocon, also collaborated with Hubecon and they had their Hello Market. Uh, this was in a whole entire separate building, the same building where they held the cosplay competition in the first day, which was like five minutes away from the other main buildings. So they had a whole separate building basically for Lolita stuff. They had a wonderful big market where there was lots of Lolita stuff on sale. Some people selling their own stuff that they no longer needed, but also some people selling their own brand stuff. The Finnish brand Cloudberry Lady was there. And of course I had to do some shopping. I got this wonderful lavender uh, angelic pretty jacket which I love. One of the buttons pretty much came off right away but I got it back. It's fine. It's all fine now. And I also got this lovely 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 angelic pretty ring which I'm going to show you a close up of here. I really really like it. I like that it's mermaid themed uh, because I have a lot of mermaid themed dresses and it's going to match with those. So I was, I was very happy to spend some money on some brand. There were also two Lolita fashion shows. The first fashion show was a brand fashion show, the Finnish brand Cloudberry Lady was a guest and they were showcasing their uh, spring collection which was absolutely beautiful and uh, really dreamy and lovely and after the fashion show, after the models had sort of walked the runway the, the designer came over and talked about the inspirations behind each of the pieces how sustainability and being ecologically as friendly as possible was really important they used a lot of dead stock fabrics, they used a lot of vintage fabrics in their design, how these outfits were made, they had dyed some of the fabric themselves which was amazing. Then there was a sort of discussion panel about the state of Lolita fashion in Finland. There was a panel of four people and they talked about what the Lolita scene was like when they started and what it's like now and how things have changed, how attitudes have changed how it's easier to get stuff now uh, basically just like a, a retrospective of what things were like when they started where they get their fashions now where they used to get their fashions how attitudes have changed all that it was very interesting then they had a second fashion show which was a sort of community fashion show where people showcased their own course that they had put together which was also really wonderful and interesting they had put people together in these sort of uh, groups of three so that that we were kind of teamed and really matched and uh, it was it was really really cool i also really want to shout out the uh 
organizers of Hella Market and the fashion shows because one of them actually came uh, up to me and offered to collaborate and send in their uh, footage and materials so that I could use it for this video and I'm extremely extremely thankful for that it, it totally made my day you know that uh, they actually watched my videos and, and stuff and also that I could uh, collaborate with them and get some of the footage from them because it's really helped it's always really hard to film stuff from the audience so I'm really glad that they allowed me to use some of their footage um, so I have permission to use that and I'm super super grateful I had a fantastic time at the convention there was also after that a panel with Cloudberry Lady but I couldn't stay because I had to get back to Estonia so that would have definitely been interesting as well but sadly I couldn't do that shout out to my friend who also came with me to the event I had a lot of fun with her we drew some some postcards uh, in the hotel and just uh, had a great time overall and shout out to all the people who i met who were wearing wonderful cosplays and wonderful lolita courts and uh, friends who i hadn't seen in a long time uh, it was it was really a great time and i can't wait for another convention in finland some people have asked me if i'm going to desogon sadly i'm not i'm regretting it more and more every day but it is what it is uh, i can't go it's super hard to get tickets but i will definitely go to other conventions in Finland soon so if you want to see more videos about that please subscribe if you just want to see general Lolita related content general anime related or doll related content then there's lots of cool stuff to see on my channel for you hopefully it's YouTube you know what to do leave a like if you were at the event leave a comment as well or even if you weren't uh, I really appreciate reading everyone's comments I hope to see you in my next video which is not necessarily convention related I really hope to see you then